Hi guys, so it's Danny, and um, I'm back to show you a little project that I just completed. Well, actually, I completed three. So I just wanted to come on here and show you. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Um, my Christmas was really good. So in fact, I had one of my presents was a new sewing machine, so I'm really excited about that because it has a whole bunch of different stitches so I'm excited to try it on on journals and stuff so anyway let's get right on to this because I have two more that I have to record and I'm doing it really early in the morning while everybody is sleeping and the house is really quiet so uh, the first one here is a kit that I used I got this from Artie Mays and it's called My Sweet Rose and let me just adjust this because, okay. It's called um, My Sweet Rose, and I think this is one of her newest uh, digi, digi kits. So what I did is, this book measures uh, six and a half by nine and a half. And it's, uh, chipboard front and back and I covered it in fabric pink fabric I hope that the camera is picking that up but it's a pink fabric and it's got like gold uh, thread going through and I enlarge one of the uh, cards ephemera cards from the kit and I stitched around it and then I stitched around the memories and I just used uh, some bling for the corners in here where the ties are. And then I used some of the trim for uh, the corner here and down here. And then I wrapped the trim around the spine and I just ran some bling here. And then in the back, I wanted to keep it flat, but I did stitch around the ephemera card that I just enlarged. And it does have uh, metal corners, and this book has four signatures. It's pretty chunky. So let's go right in. And it has uh, lace for a tie. So you open it up, and it has a crocheted flower here with some crocheted bits and pieces, and eyelash trim and then the pocket here has some tags and I used one of the images that I enlarged look at that beautiful lady and it says my this book belongs to I did a lot of inking as well here and then I have some of these ephemera cards that I inked I did a lot of inking too and then I just use this for more journaling, you know, spots. And then on this side, I used some of the trim here for this little pocket. This paper is so cute. I love working with her um, Digi Kits. Another card. And then this little cute little folder. And that's the image that I blew up here. And that just goes right in there. And then we've got this lace trim around the page. And then you have your coffee stain paper and your tracing paper because I love that one. I had some uh, stickers that I thought would look, go good. So I sprinkled some, not many, just some that I had. And then this is more room for putting some little things in there. And doilies. And then this is part of her ephemera. I just put some lace and some eyelash trim. And then I just ran some pearls there. And I'm using it as a tuck spot. And that's more ephemera. And then this is part of her collection to this airmail uh, envelope empty but you can put some stuff in there and then I have this little envelope here and then this is part of a 
poetry book, children's poetry book. It's a vintage poetry book and I just put it in there. And then this little envelope has these little cards. And that just goes in there and I'm just keeping it here. With this little clip. And then I have a little book page uh, ruffle there. And this is a little pocket. And I stitched the tag and I just have some fabric there. And then these little tags open up. They're cute. And I just keep those in there. another each signature in the middle have an envelope because that's how I hide my um, my my stitch you know for the signatures and then you have another file folder and then another one of those dress forms and a little tab here And here's another pocket. And I have these on my computer, so I printed them out. They're postcards and inked them up and put them in there. I thought they went well with the collection. Some more journaling and saving whatever you want to save in there. Another, so the other side of the kit. Another a more journaling. I used every single piece of this collection in this book. I used everything. And then I just put this. This is that same um, tag that opens, and I just put a magnet and a little tab made with uh, lace. So you can write something and keep it secret, and it'll stay shut. Another envelope here, more tracing paper, and this is another little tag card. Another pocket. This is a little flip that just goes right in there in that little corner tuck. And then I use this, it's from the collection too. I just made a belly band out of it. And it just has these little postcards. That just goes right in there, more lace. Another little pocket with a tag. It just goes in there. Another little sticker. I think that's cute. Doily. Another little piece of music sheet, tab, another envelope, another little postcard, goes right in there, and then this is another image and I just put some of this uh, trim, it opens and it's an envelope, oh you guys didn't even see that, it opens up and it's an envelope, that's the trim. And then the other side of it, I fussy cut this uh, rose out and put it on the flap. And that's another card. And then the, you have another journaling spot there. And this is the middle of the signature again, which is an envelope. Another pocket stitched around. More ephemera. Another envelope. And this is another envelope that I just held with these cute little, I got these little um, clips from the Dollar Tree. With a little arrow. And that just houses a little flip out.
Well cute. And I just put that there. But you, they're tricky. You have to find a way to put it in. There we go. Music sheet. Really. And then you have another one. Tag. And I just house it in this little corner tuck. And then you have another little ephemera card in there that I'm just holding with a clip. Another card there. And then here I use, and I made a belly band here, and I just made a little journal, you know, a little journal booklet. You can throw this in your handbag, and it's got, uh, I think this is tea stain paper. And this got just a few pages in there. This cute if you just want to jot some notes down, take it with you in your bag. And I just ran it through my machine to stitch in the little signature. And I inked up the cover and that just goes right in there. And then this pocket houses a card, I mean a tag. Goes right in there. Another little flip. A really cute paper. A really cute journal to jot down those memories. Memories. I like this little sticker. It's um, it's like a little note with that uh, little old-fashioned pen, you know, with the feather. <laughs> Thought it looked cute. A little envelope there. Middle of the signature has another little envelope. And this one I left open, so it's another little tuck spot in here. I have another little paper ribbon here. And this is another envelope. I'm not going to pull it out because it's the same, you know, it's got a little card in there. Another coin envelope here. And that's another envelope for you to put stuff in. And this is another envelope with the air mail. And that's another tag that I've stitched around. The little taggy here. Racing paper. Another pocket. It's another ephemera piece and a belly band. More ephemera. Another pocket here. So lots of place for your journal. Look at that paper. I love it. Another little paper ribbon up here. And this serves as a little pocket. Little pieces of the family I just included there. And that's the middle of the signature again. Little tabby here with that lace. Another little, I used the, um, uh, what is that pattern paper? That, you know, that sewing paper? I made a little ribbon and I just put it there. And this is um, a sticker. I thought it was real cute. And then we have another one of those uh, magnetic little secret compartments. And it's also a, a corner pocket. You can put some stuff in there. Another little pocket there. And another envelope. So this journal is loaded with lots of space for you to put the stuff in and write stuff in and keep little pieces of 
whatever you want to keep and memories and and then here I just included another little booklet and that just goes in there and another little sticker and then my stamp and it is a fatty it's a big one so this is listed on my Etsy and the link is in the description box below if you are interested and I hope you like it and thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing I really really appreciate it and I will be back with two more journals I have a sewing theme one and a nature walk one um, both from Artie Mays. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!